Hey guys, I understand that some countries have banned CapCut. Countries like India and some other Asian countries. A lot of you are asking for an alternative app that can also do keyframing. And for this video, I got you. We will use VN app. It is a free mobile video editing app and I have checked that this is not banned in India. In fact, this app is made in India. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, let's start. Prepare your dance video that is shot in wide angle and have enough space because you are going to zoom in the video for keyframing. Make sure that you also have saved the TikTok dance challenge video because you will be needing the music. Now, open your VN app and import your video. Click the add sign, new project, and select your dance video then click arrow to import the video. Next would be adding the music. Tap the note icon, music. Extract from video and select the dance challenge video. Type in your file name. Let's type dance music. Tap done and add to new album. You can also change the album name to dance music if you want. Then tap create album and your music is in the album already. Tap your dance music album and select the music that you are going to use. For this part, just click the check icon cause we are not going to change anything here. After you import the music, make sure that the video and your music are synced with each other. Next, tap the video clip timeline and use your two fingers to zoom in the video nicely. Then tap the text icon to input zero as the guide for the head tracking and place it in your head. Drag the text timeline until the end of the video. Once done, tap the video timeline and select keyframe. You only need to tap the keyframe button once. Then adjust the video screen frame by frame. Make sure to always place the head into zero. There is no need to click the keyframe button again. Once you have adjusted the screen, the keyframe will automatically mark it. Continue to place the head to the text until the end of your video. Once you are done, tap the added video at the last part and delete. Now, you are done with the keyframing. You can now delete the text timeline. You can also enhance the color of your video by selecting the filter. For me, I choose Create C6. It actually depend on your liking. And you are done with the editing. Before you export, click the center top drop down and select the format that you want. To export, tap the arrow up. I usually select auto for export setting. And for HDR, the app will recommend you to turn it off if your project does not contain HDR clips. Then tap export. And tap save to album. And you are done. Go to your phone gallery and your edited video will be there. You now have turned your boring video into a more interesting one. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.